Hi guys. For math, we're going to talk about additions and related subtraction facts today. Some people call them additions and corresponding subtraction facts. So let's talk about related addition and subtraction facts. So we have an addition right here. 5 plus 3 equals. Now, let's solve that. So my first number is going to be represented by the red counters. And my second number, 3, will be represented using the blue counters. So 5 is my first number. I need to grab 5 counters, 5 red counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm adding 3. So I will need 3 blue counters. 1, 2, 3. I already know that there are five red counters, so I'm not going to count from the beginning. I already know that there are, these are five. There are five counters, so I'm going to count on from five. So five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three equals eight. Now, We talked about commutative property of addition. Do you guys remember what that is? Commutative property of addition. Commutative property of addition tells us that the order in which numbers are added does not affect the sum. So if we switch the 3 and the 5 around and put 3 first in our equation and put 5 as our second number, The sum is going to be the same. The sum is still going to be 8. So we are using the same numbers, the 5 and the 3. And here, 5 and the 3. It's just that the numbers have been switched around. Here in, in this um, addition equation, 5 is the first number, whereas in this addition equation, 5 is the second number. But if we're using the same numbers, Switching the two numbers that we added together is not going to change the sum. The sum will be the same. So it should have the sum for this equation, just as is for this equation, should be 8. So as long as you use two or three same numbers, doesn't matter how many there are, as long as you're using the same numbers and you're adding those numbers together, um, those numbers that you're adding can be in any order. The sum will be the same. Okay, now let's talk about what a related subtraction fact is. Okay, so these two equations The numbers that we were adding just have been switched around. Okay, so 5 and 3 were added to get 8. Now, this sum, if we start a mathematical equation using the sum, so 8, and take away one of these numbers, then 
the result will be the other number. So for example, if we take the 3 away from 8, then it would equal to 5. Okay, So I took the sum, which was 8, and I took one of the two numbers that we were adding together, I took it away, so 3, and then um, that was equal to the other number here. So this is a subtraction equation, but do you notice how we are using the same numbers as the numbers that were used in this addition equations? So we had used the 5 here, we use 5 here, we have 5 here, we use 3 here, and we also have a 3 here, and we have an 8 in this addition equation, and we also have an 8 in this subtraction equation. So we are using the same numbers. It's just that one is an addition equation and the other one is a subtraction equation. So from the, from the addition equation, if we take the sum and take away one number, one of these two numbers, then the resulting answer would be the other number. Okay. Let's test this theory. We start with 8, so I will need to have 8 counters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, I don't want to do that. 5, 6, 7, And this subtraction equation tells me to subtract 3, so take away 3. We're going to cross out 3. Cross out 1, 2, 3. And I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just as this subtraction equation states. Okay. This subtraction equation is a related subtraction fact of this addition equation. Okay. So if we start with the sum, which is 8, in my first subtraction equation, I took away 3, right? So this time I'm going to take away 5. Okay, 5. Then that should equal to the other number that I didn't use yet, which is 3. Okay, so 8 take away 5 equals 3. Okay, these two addition equations are almost identical. We are using the same numbers, it's just that the numbers that we were adding were switched around. The order had changed. And then this is a subtraction, a related subtraction fact or related subtraction equation. And this is also another related subtraction fact of these two addition facts. Okay, so these four are addition and related subtraction facts. Okay. And related facts use the same numbers in a different order. And as you will notice, you can tell that this is an addition equation and this is a subtraction equation. And these four are known as fact family. 